So this is day one in the desert in Sedona and here we have snow. Can you believe it? Snow in the desert. I don't get it. I don't get it. In Sedona, it's a place of mystical uh, people, mystical stores. So we're just doing a couple uh, stores that are interesting and that I remember from the first time I was here. So here's one. <laughs> Day two in Sedona. Today we plan to do all the land journeys that uh, was scheduled yesterday. But first we're starting with breakfast with Crystal and Jim at the Indian Gardens Oak Creek Market. Let's say first white settler, the first person. Jim Thompson built a log cabin here and began cultivating the old Indian gardens where the Indians had grown corn and squash long before a creek was known to the white men. Last land journey of the trip. So, so far we've done two ceremonies, one by the stupa, one at the medicine wheel, and now, what rock is this? Where are we going? It's called Fay Canyon, like Fay like the fairies. Fay Canyon, we're going up Fay Canyon with my fairy mentor. What's the storyline with Sedona being having vortex energy what what is that sorry can you explain that a bit well it's if you imagine that sedona is kind of like being inside of a crystal bowl because all these red rocks are made out of quartz and sandstone and because we're at the edge of the monkey on rim there's a 2000 foot drop like at the top of this is the colorado plateau so we're kind of in the open, like the land has kind of been opened up in a sense to the deeper lake. So we're closer to the, what they call the ley lines, the dragon lines, okay. which are the lines of energy that move around the earth. And that's basically the vortexes are places where those lines cross or where there's a particularly strong concentration of energy. What's the experience of entering a vortex? Um, I think it depends on, you know, it can be can be subtle energy. It's, it's a subtle energy experience. So depending on how attuned you are to subtle energy, you're going to feel more or less. Sometimes you'll just feel, like for me, I just feel it sort of as a, as a like I can feel an energy shift where, where you feel like you, maybe you're moving through like a portal of some sort. Sometimes it's more like you just feel like your heart really expands or one of the chakras opens because each different... Um, vortexes are relate to different energies plus it's good for tourism <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the Amitabha Stupa that we're going to, and it is based on, it's for, to the Buddha of the West, and the Buddha of the West, um, the one of the ceremonies he brought was Powa, which is a, called the Conscious Dying Practice, so that you can, and it's an initiation that you receive when, so that at the moment of your death you can consciously leave your body. And if you haven't completely awakened and become Buddha in this lifetime, then you go to the land of Dewa Chen, where you will be with people who have come to a certain, you know, certain level of, a, of enlightenment, but not completely enlightened to the Buddha's level. By this effort, may all sentient beings be free of suffering. May their minds be filled with the nectar of virtue. In this way, may all causes resulting in suffering be extinguished and only the light of compassion shine throughout all realms. May the challenges that we are faced with result in awakening of consciousness as each terrorist activity, as each political move of power and gain be a rung in the ladder of opening our consciousness to remembering our true nature. This is the opportunity we have each time something bad happens in the world. We have the opportunity to choose unity, to choose love, to face fear and dig deep and have the courage to go beyond ourselves, our limited self and our limited ego. and choose love. Oh.